Uh, I want to make a comment about uh, Corey Norman, the Parramatta player. Uh, today it's been all over the radio, uh, on, on the news, on television. Apparently there's a sex tape out and it shows uh, two consenting adults having sex and some slime bucket is trying to sell it for $150,000. Uh, I don't know who would be stupid enough to want to pay $150,000 uh, for a video or, or a DVD or whatever it is um, showing two people who are enjoying a sex act. I don't care, I don't need to see it or I'm not interested in it. I, I, I don't understand why it's out as, as news. Uh, but what I can say is that um, there has to be some laws passed in this country where you are safe to spit in the street, uh, pick your nose in your car and eat it, or having sex in your house or having sex um, in your bedroom. Uh, when it's outside, I think it's open slatter. It's, uh, it's free for all. But when you take a deliberate um, videotape of someone in a private home or dwelling or whatever you want to call it, and you want to exploit uh, that for your financial gain, uh, there should be some very health, uh, hefty fines. So in other words, uh, if you're at home banging your wife uh, and someone films it, it's against the law to show it unless the person who actually is in the film uh, is actually the consenting seller of that videotape. Uh, having said that, if there's two people involved, usually there is when there's sex, um, but there's quite a lot of people in this town that just, they're on their own, they're, they're having it. Um, if you've got uh, two people, uh, then you need two people to consent to that tape to be sold or to be shown in public. I, I mean, a porno movie is a porno movie, uh, but uh, if you've got someone famous, uh, I mean, you know, let's face it, there, there will be millions of dollars if, uh, if you could see um, two politicians uh, doing the business, you know? Uh, I don't know, let's take... Uh, Pauline Hanson and Darren Hinch. I mean, you know, would you pay money for that? I, th I think I would, actually. I think it would be funny. I, I don't know who's, who's going to be wearing a strap on, but what I'm saying is that it's a private act. Why are we talking about it? Why is, is someone trying to sell it? Um, and uh, I made a comment today on 2GB uh, when I spoke to one of the broadcasters, and I was asking whether you can actually copyright yourself and I couldn't get a straight answer. And that simply means that if someone puts your image out in, in the public arena uh, without your consent, then you can sue for damages. Uh, I think you need to um, protect yourself because I've got children and I don't want to see one of my children uh, on television or on video uh, doing something which uh, is normal to most people, but someone's exploiting that for financial gain, and then they're not aware of it. Um, I, I think it's it's possible, and it's easy, and it has to be um, it has to be discussed and seen whether you can implement it. Uh, for example, let's talk about Mitchell Pierce. Uh, Mitchell Pierce's video was private in a private home. It should never have come out in public. I mean, are we better off uh, that we saw it? No. Who cares? I mean, uh, he's he's obviously got a a drinking problem, and he has to deal with it. Did we need to see it on TV? No. Was your day better or worse? No different, of course. So why do we need to see this private rubbish? Because really, uh, it doesn't um, it, it doesn't uh, do us or them any good. I mean, you know, why would you uh, want to sit down and watch someone um, perform a lewd sex act with a, a little puppy? and say that's funny. Okay, it's funny to the people that are there and they've been drinking uh, and everyone's having a, a, a wow of a time, but to the general public, they don't care. And I'm sure most of the people have actually forgotten about that story. So uh, do we need to see this sort of rubbish? No, we don't. Do we need to protect people from themselves? Yes, we do. Uh, do you think that we need to uh, have some laws in place that... Uh, the person who's in or persons who are in that image should be aware and should be the ones who are consenting for the distribution. 
If not, uh, there should be some financial punish, uh, punishment <coughs> and compensation. Uh, it's, a, it's as simple as that. I mean, if you're driving down the street and you see a car accident and you take film, uh, that's an accident and there was no, um, no lewd or rude or crude or sexual act performed. It's just an accident that's filmed on TV where you see on the news each night. But when it comes to the behaviour of human, of humans, <coughs> um, it, it should actually uh, remain private and it should always remain indoors. Uh, for this, I hope uh, you know we move forward and try to get rid of this rubbish, because uh, the the news today was about this sex tape. Um, you know. Like, who really cares? I, I, I'm just so sick of people talking about other people's private lives. Who, who really cares? Who really cares? <coughs> you know, it's just silly. But I tell you who does care, the ones that don't have a life. They're the ones that want to look. They're the perverts, the, the, the sickos, the twisted individuals that are interested. Because uh, me personally, I have no interest at all especially with my background, as, um, as I've been involved in that sort of industry where I had a nightclub and we had, uh, <coughs> we had shows all the time. So, you know, for me to sit there and watch TV and see some, some grey sort of image of someone doing something which comes natural to most people, I would find as, well, as boring as bad shit. Anyway, uh, that's my say, and I'm losing my voice here. I need a cup of tea.